Good day, one and all. I hope that everyone is doing wonderful. To God be the glory continually for what he's doing in our lives. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you stay tuned because the Lord has given me a word on today. Hallelujah. For his people, for the nation. Um, want to just continue in the reading of the word. So I pray that everyone's doing good and blessings to all. On this morning, I'm going to just uh, read to you what the Lord has shared with me. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but in searching and seeking the Lord, God is always revealing to his people what he has to say for the nation. Um, I just want to let you know that everything that we see that's going on in the world, I know by now that you know God is soon to return. You've heard it a hundred times. You're going to hear it again. Um, he's just not slow in his return. But he's gracious. His love and his mercy is extended to us constantly through his uh, delay. Because he wished that all should have eternal life. Um, on In my studies, the Lord took me to Zephaniah chapter 2. And I'm going to read to you really quickly what it says. And then we can discuss it and just really pray. And my prayer is that we would repent. Because his signs are before us, the, the days are evil, and the Lord wants for us to know that I'm soon to return. I'm going to show you my works. I'm going to let you know that it is I that do all things, and he's going to get the glory out of the nation one way or the other. But he wished that we would come into repentance with him. So I'm going to read Zephaniah chapter 2, and we're talking about a call to repentance. I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, what do you want me to say to your people? And the Spirit of God says, Zephaniah chapter 2. And I was like, okay. And I began to study in that scripture. And it says, Zephaniah chapter 2, verses 1 says, Gather together. Yes, gather together. You shameless nation. Gather before judgment begins. Before your time to repent is blown away like a shaft. Act now. Before the fiery fury of the Lord falls and the terrible day of the Lord, Lord's anger begin. Seek the Lord, all who are humble, and follow his commands. Seek to do what is right and to live humbly. Mm. Perhaps even yet the Lord will protect you. Glory, protect you from his anger on the day of destruction. So God is saying, seek me while you can find me, while he can be found, while you have the opportunity to seek him, seek him and try to ask, for, 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 ask him for forgiveness. He says, repent. God loves every one of us. The Lord wants us to know that no matter what we have done, no matter what our greatest sins, no matter what things we have done, he is faithful and just to forgive us. He said he has already paid the price for our sins. So you are worthy of his love. You are worthy to be forgiven. You're not a castaway. God says, seek me while you can find me. Ask me for repentance. Seek my ways before my destruction comes unto the nation. And he's willing to and able to forgive you of all your sins. So I pray that on today that we would understand the word of God before the fury of the Lord, the Lord comes upon the nation. It is here already. We see destruction is happening in California. We have wildfires in Germany. We have floods, you know, earthquakes, um, buildings are falling down in Florida, earthquakes and tremors in Tokyo. We have different things that are taking place. But God says to me a couple months ago, a few months ago, he says, Name your city and your state. And you will know that it is the Lord that done all these things. In every city and in every state, you're going to see the hands of the Lord move through and through the nation. And the reason for that is because the people have turned away and they have declared that God doesn't do these things. Or they determined that statistic has shown man has done these things. But God says nobody will share his glory with him and he's saying that you will see the works of his hand in uncommon places things will happen in an unex unexpected place unexpected places at unexpected times so god is calling us for repentance because the days are evil the time is nigh 
and he is soon to return. So I encourage you to prepare your hearts. So let us pray because God knows that we need prayer and we need a heart of repentance. He's saying, come to me before it's too late. So Father, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you, God, for calling the nation to you. You said, Call me, yes, all the nations gather together. Seek me and call me before the day of my judgment, before the time of my return. I am willing to heal the land. Father, help the nation to understand that we not only have to say, oh God, forgive us, but let us fall on our face and repent and turn from our evil and wicked ways. Let us fast. Let the nation come before you like Nineveh did. Hallelujah. Like Nineveh did when Juno was sent, God, they will they repented of their sins. Bring the nation to repentance. Bring the nation to a day of fast that they would know that it is God that delivers, that it is God that heals every sickness and every disease, every COVID-19. Oh God, every Delta variant, every Lombard variant, every disease of every kind, there is no limitations to what you can do. So Father, on today, he said, thank you. Thank you for the nation that would repent and bow down and turn away from their wicked, sinful ways. Thank you that man would understand that there are time is running short. Your word said it's not that you are slow to return, but your word said one day is like a thousand days unto you, God, and a thousand days is like a day. So, Father, you're not slow to return. You're gracious. You're kind. You're loving. You're compassionate. You're merciful, God. You, oh God, wish that we should come to your knowledge. So, Father, bring men to you, oh God. Let men know, God, that you love them. Father, I thank you on today, God, that you give us extension of time. The extension of time that we don't deserve, but your grace has extended once again to the nation. Help us to understand that destruction is coming. Destruction is here. We see riots. We see wars. We see chaos. We see murders. We see killings. We see tsunamis. We see earthquakes. We see all kinds of things that are taking place. Floods. God, you're going to show forth your hands through and through the earth. Father, I thank you, God, that you are a God that is just. You're a God that is fair. You're so loving and kind that you send warning to your people to let your people know, God, that I'm coming. I'm coming to do, oh God, to wash away the sins of this nation. I'm coming to awaken the nation. You said to me continuously that you're going to shake the heavens and the earth, that all men will know that you are God and you share your glory with no one. Hallelujah. Teach. Teach man to fail. Mm. Teach man to fail. Cause men to humble themselves and bow down and worship you. Let them know that you are God. Let them know that you are real. Let them know that your power exists and remain. God just said you're going to awaken. You're going to shake the heavens and the earth. You said you're going to awaken the nation. And then you said you're going to wash. Uh, you're going to wash and purify this nation. So do a new work in this nation. Prepare the nation. Prepare the nation, God, and let them seek your face. Prepare the nation and let them know that you are real, that you are loved, that you are just and you're faithful. Let them know that your word can go forward to the four corners of the earth. I declare, God, from the east to the west, to the north, to the south, that the power of God go through that deliverance would take place in the nation, from every corner of the nation. I declare salvation to our bloodlines. I declare salvation to our communities, salvation to our homes, salvation to our ministries, salvation to our workplaces. I declare salvation, God, through and through the nation, God, that man would come to know you. So, Father, on this morning, bring men unto you, God. Bring men unto you. Draw them also. Draw the hearts of men to you that they would come to know you. God, do a new thing in this earth because you're going to shake up the earth. You said you're going to shake up this nation, God. I see Poland, God, in the name of Jesus. You've shown me a few places, God, that destruction is coming to your people, God. But, Father, I thank you, God, that 
you would, oh God, protect the nations. Hallelujah. That you would prepare the heart. Australia, prepare your hearts. Poland, prepare your hearts for the Lord. For so many are going to die. The United States, I've seen bodies just everywhere. God, you get the glory. Get the glory. Get the glory. Call man to repentance before it's too late. Let him know, God, that you're faithful to forgive and you're able to, oh God. Forgive them of their sins. Hallelujah. No one is exempt. No one is exempt. God does not have favorites. He's not a biased God. So wherever you are, Father God, move through the nation. Move through the nation. Every island, every continent, every nation, every country, every province. Hallelujah. You have your way on every key. In the name of Jesus, Father, you do a great work, God, in the nation, every city and state. <laughs> Wherever you might be, whatever your postal code says, God, is no limitations to where you are. He says he's coming back to restore the nation. He's resurrecting the dead and he's calling life back into those that want to receive him. For his time is soon to return. So take heed on today. Father, I pray that they would move according to your word, that they would take heed, that they would know, God, that your hands is not short. Your ears is not turned away from them and their prayers. You're willing to receive, oh God. Receive us on today. Thank you for receiving us, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for doing a new work in us. Move through the nation. Wash, purify, cleanse. Prepare the nation for what's to come. Cause men to fear you. Cause men to bow down. Cause men to worship and adore you. Cause men to seek your face and to seek your presence. Cause men to trust in your word and to live by your word. Cause men to, oh God, lift up the name of Jesus at every given cost, God, at every day, God. Let there be no void of you in the nation. Let the nation cry out and understand that you are God and God alone. And besides, you there is no other god let the nation worship you and fall down and bow and call on the name of jehovah father i bless you on today and i come to say thank you thank you lord thank you for what you're doing thank you for what you're gonna do Mukuromas, move in this nation, move in this nation, turn the hearts of man back to you, for your coming is nigh and your coming is soon, but your love once again is extended. So Father, we bless you on today and we take heed and we walk worthy of your word and let your word transform us for your word said in John 17 and 17, it said your word is truth. I thank you for the word of truth on today. Glory to Glory to your name. I thank you for the word of truth because it is your word that would destroy the yokes of the master. It is your word that would deliver. It was in the was in the It is your word that heals. It is your word that brings, oh God, restoration to the body. It is your word, oh God, that we can depend on. Only your word can bring comfort. Only your word restores the joy in the mind of your people. Only your word can uplift the brokenhearted. Only your word, God, can deliver and set free. Only your word, God, it is by your stripes we are healed. Only your word heals on today. So, God, I want to say thank you. Thank you for what you're doing in this nation. <laughs> restore the nation back to you restore the hearts of man back to you restore the minds of man back to you father so many have drifted away but I declare that they would return unto you I declare that wholeheartedly that they would worship you I declare that wholeheartedly that they would surrender totally to you and to you alone God let them chase down their idols let them throw down their oh God altars oh God and let them move from every witchcraft and every evil darkness and everything God that is not like you but I declare that man would come back and totally surrender to you and to you alone let your hands be that of God let the works of your hands be that of God not of the enemy God we don't worship Baal and Balaam and more like God but we worship the one and true living Savior so Father on today I come to say thank you God let these be bowed down and call on the name of Jehovah because it is by his name that we are healed it is by the name of Jesus that we are delivered and set free God restore a nation back to you you're talking about restoration oh God 
Restore a nation back to you. Let the nation know, God, that you love them. You have already explained the greatest and shown the greatest act of love by dying on the cross for us. You stretched out, God, when we were not worthy of your love. You gave it unto us. So, Father, let us be mindful of that which you have done, the sacrifice, God, you have given your son for us. So God, I just want to say thank you on today. Thank you for what you're doing in this nation. Cause the hearts of men to fear you and to worship you, to bow down, to repent. God, you're calling for repentance because your coming is soon. You said you're going to return like a thief in the night. No man knoweth the day nor the hour. So prepare a nation. So Father, I thank you for preparing the hearts of your people. Let your people walk in obedience of your word. Let your people walk in understanding of your love. And we pray these things in no other name than the almighty sovereign savior. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. God is doing an amazing work in the nation. And he is calling us to repentance. He's calling us. He's forgiven you. If you ask him, Father, forgive me. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my life. Live in me. You be Lord. You be king. You be ruler. You rule over this life. It is yours. You have loaned it to me. Have your way in it and forgive me of my sins. If you ask him, he will do it for you. So be blessed on today and seek the Lord. He's calling for repentance. Don't let another day go by and you don't acknowledge the one that, the one through true creator, the one that has created you. He knows all things. There is nothing that God cannot do. So trust the Savior. Be blessed.